Hey everyone, welcome to LS Mowers. I appreciate y'all watching the channel as always. We're going to work on a uh, basic MTD push mower here. Nothing really to sneeze at, but it is one of the first power mower engines that I have had. And man, is this thing clapped together, so to speak. It's just like, you know they build them to a price point when they build them like this. I guess this would have been, I don't know, 2015 or so probably when this thing was made and uh, it has the power more engine on it and uh, it was probably the you know $150 push mower back then which is now the $269 push mower <laughs> and they say inflation is only 8% but anyways this is what we're going to work on today um, it's got a starting and stalling issue when you hit the primer bulb and uh, the oil is pretty low on it. The wheels are pretty loose. And I don't know what the blade looks like, but we're going to find out. Just figured y'all would enjoy a basic push mower. Let's go ahead and get started. Again, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me, ellis at ellismowers.com. Or you can reach out to me on Instagram and Facebook at ellismowers09. And I have some links in the description below of um, people who have partnered with me, some of their products as well as um, some promotional links that uh, will save you a little bit of money and might allow me to get a little bit of money as well. So please consider looking at them. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we'll give it a look here before we start. This is a 20 inch yard machines, basic push mower. Probably from Home Depot since it's red. Usually the Lowe's ones are Bolin's and they're green. Um, like I said, not adjustable wheels. We're going to adjust these wheels up a little bit. Power more engine, 140 cc. These things are so cheap they don't even have a dipstick on them. Just this little bitty oil thing. Oil is very low. Very low. And uh, they got a QR code. Like not even touching the stick it's supposed to be up here in the threads area and it is nowhere near there so that's what's going on with that full of gas air filter i don't even have one so it ain't gonna get one but hopefully this thing is oh, a little dirty it's just a, literally a foam ring looks okay though what i'm gonna do is i'll prime it up let's see let's see under the mower here blade at ah, blade will be fine once i sharpen it that's good i'll prime it a bunch of times and i'll show you again forgive me i got tripod issues so i'm trying to make do with what i have right now and it ain't that much See if we can get this thing to start for y'all. There we go. Be back in just a second. All right, guys, just sold that a uh, 52 year old tiller that y'all saw the video on. So Try this again. So as you see, it runs just on starter fluid. But here's the terrible thing about it. This thing Like, how do you work on this? You gotta, you can't even get the carb bowl off of this mower without basically taking the engine off. So what I'm gonna try and do first is just loosen that 10 millimeter bolt. See if I can get that bolt loosened and get a little bit of gas. Maybe there's just a little bit of water in the fuel, I hope. Because if there is, that'll be an easy fix. And then we can just kind of spruce it up a little bit and get the wheels right. and. Throw some oil in it and send it. 
I'll see what comes out of the carburetor. All right, guys, it's now time to take this carb off. I don't know what I got to. You can't take the bowl off on the mower. Is what I was trying to say earlier without taking the engine loose, but you can take the carburetor off. It's been a long week, sorry. So we've got a primer bulb set up going into somewhere. Where is it going? Oh, we got a fuel, we got a vapor line. And uh, this, this line went somewhere. Huh. Where did you go? Oh, it went up top there, right there. That's going to be fun trying to sandwich all that mess back on. Anyways, uh, here's a gasket that wasn't on there properly. So this has been taken off before to attempt to have fixed. It's in really, wow. Gaskets uh, going to give me a fight. There we are. And we'll get the fuel line off here. Get some regular pliers. I'm going to have the fuel line pinched off. And I feel I should just come off pretty easily here. I don't know how old this mower is, but I'm thinking it'd be like a 2015 model or so. I think these things started showing up like 2011 or so. So, <clears throat> really not that technical of a setup here. It's just got to pull this throttle all the way open, pull it up. Pull it out. This should get the carb off. Okay. Let me grab a pan and uh, we'll open this bad boy up and see how bad it is. I'm thinking that it won't be too, too bad since it just ran last year. Alright guys, so we're going to take this bowl off one more time. See how bad it looks in here. Gasket's in okay shape still. Jet, this actually has a removable jet on it. That's good. If I'm a screwdriver, I'll be right back. Of course, the fun thing is when the jet doesn't want to come out. So, see if we can just do it right here, I suppose. This is all it is. It's just got yeah, jet needs to be cleaned out. Carb spray. I hope this is all that it is. The bowl's not even that bad. There we go. That's better. Have any other port, ports and passages on this thing, or is that it? And yeah, that should be good. Must have just been a little bit of debris. Let's put let's put everything back on here. Just a needle and a seat. and float because I know it is getting gas into the carburetor which is a good thing and we'll put this back on a 
let's see, that'll be kind of like that. Well, let's put it out toward the front there for the drain. Like I said, the bowl wasn't even dirty, so. I'll we'll just pop it back on. If it doesn't fix it, then we'll have to drain the entire tank again. This will be like the second push more in a row that would have an issue with the tank. And get the wrench on it just to make sure that I got it tight. And then I will, uh, I'll go ahead and put it back on the mower. And, uh, y'all saw how I took it off. I'm just going to put it back on the same way. See if it starts up. All right, guys, everything back together. Let's see if it'll start for us now. <clears throat> I can already tell you it's priming better. cake um, really wasn't bad at all I'm gonna loosen up the or tighten the wheels up there's a three quarters and like a nine sixteenths lube up everything there probably raise the lever raise the height and just do a nice little cleanup of everything and then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and uh, clean it up list it for sale get out of here so um, let me see if there's a data manufacturer on this real quick There is not from what I can tell, but uh, I'm going to let it, I'm going to get oil in it and then I'm going to let it run for a few minutes and then I will go ahead and do the whole service and stuff on it. All right, guys, so this is what we got going on. Uh, it's cleaned up. You can see it resale red, right? It's, although it's missing a little paint here and a little paint there, but um, for the price point of this mower, no need to even try and spray it. Just uh, send it. little bit of that overhead valve smoke there the wheels I know I didn't show on camera you just need a three quarters and a nine sixteenths on the inside three quarters on the outside hope that your wheels aren't rust or that your nuts aren't rusted on the inside and it's pretty easy to get off went ahead and raised the deck a little bit because I thought it was low you can see the wheels are much tighter now because they had just worked themselves loose over the years so um and uh, the engine runs good just with a carb clean blade sharpen them it was about empty of oil one thing about the oil is it was really really hard to fill from right here because it kept trying to bubble up and there's no other way to fill it so i don't know what was going on there but um that's pretty much it for this mower uh i don't really get a lot of power mower engines in yet i have had a, like one or two on riding mowers and then maybe like two two push mowers with them not really many um that i have fixed one of them was a customer mower last year or maybe earlier this year but um these don't these get kind of a bad rep just because they're cheap you can't find parts and uh luckily this one just had some sort of debris in the carburetor and it was able to go after that which is nice so um luckily what did i do i gave this guy 
twenty dollar credit. Yeah, twenty dollar credit on a on a push mower. I ended up delivering it to him. He was about ten minutes down the road. Um, guy ended up having a having a couple of strokes in the past, and so he was weak on his left side. And so I can understand why. Um, you know, the delivery process and whatnot. But anyways, uh, spent an afternoon, an hour or so at the most, got this thing ready to roll. I'll list it for like 65 and probably take 60 for it. It'll go pretty quickly in this climate, um, especially of mowers and how much they cost now. But anyways, uh, I appreciate y'all watching. As always, remember you can reach out to me, ellis at ellismowers.com or at ellismowers09. And all my partners are down below in the description if you uh, decide to purchase from one of them. I would greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next video. See you then.